the flower broke off of my solar powered toy here. So we're going to break it open and see what uh, we find inside. Got the solar panel. Looks like there's a coil down here. And a magnet. Got some wires going from the solar panel down to a capacitor. Uh, looks like some sort of circuit. Can't tell what it is. It's sealed in. It's potted in with something. I'm gonna want to try to get that magnet out of there. Oh, there it goes. That wasn't too bad. So that slid out. Well, if nothing else, it's a nice magnet. So now to make our little solar toy a little more interesting, I printed off a little hackaday symbol that we'll be able to fit in there. It'll go right in here like this. We're going to have to add a little bit of weight of it and uh, some place to put the magnet and actually we'll put the magnet right on the end of the weight. I'm gonna thread the bottom of this hole, this bottom hole um, and then screw some threaded rod into there. Uh, first I'm gonna clean up that hole. I like to have a few of these chucks from old cordless drills laying around. When I want to hand work something, put a drill bit in there and just do what I need to do without grabbing a drill at all. I have a little bit more hand work to do on this part. I have a even smaller drill truck. Actually, this is a, intended to go into a hex socket and a, on a drill. What I'm doing now is I'm cleaning out the hole that I'm going to drive the shaft through and the shaft I'm going to for the shaft I'm just going to use a a nail I'm going to put the tap in that same drill chuck and that's a little bit easier to deal with than the tap handle Now I'm going to put this piece in this vise, so when I tap the hole in the bottom, I don't accidentally break off one of the arms. Now that we have the hole in the bottom threaded, we can press in the the nail. So the hole is actually smaller than the nail. So we we'll just get it started. And then I'm gonna use device to press the nail in. Sit up, straighten it out. I have a small piece of threaded rod and, a, and that same nut I just used. Well, Thread that into into our wobbler. I didn't thread it all the way in. I have left a little bit out. 
And then I'm going to use the nut. To lock that in place. And it's not going anywhere. Going back over to the bench, we have the, have the magnet. Put the magnet right on the bottom there. See how this fits in here. That guide that part right in there, and then Let's see how we're doing here. I have enough light to keep to get this thing moving, but you see, there's a little bit of a problem. It's it's trying to wobble, but it's not, and I do know what the problem is there. I'm going to place the magnet in the same orientation that I had it. And you see nothing's really happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that magnet, flip it over, and place it there again. And see how it, it jumps off? The coil is only being energized in one direction. So it's either going to be pushed away or pulled towards the coil. And it's more effective to have the the magnet being pulled away from the coil or pushed away from the coil. So I'm gonna make sure I keep it in the right orientation, put it back on. Replace this back in here. Yeah, let's see how we're doing now. working a little bit better but the other adjustment I can make is down on the bottom here see how far away the the magnet is from the from the coil I'm gonna unscrew the threaded rod a bit Now replace the magnet. Let's see how we're doing. See if we're how my clearance is. Now I'm looking at the bottom. Now I'm up quite a bit closer to the magnet. Now it's going to start wobbling a little bit better. When I place the wobbler into the, into the frame, the head of the nail keeps it from moving back and forth and falling out of the hole. But what happens is when I put the back cover on, now it's it's actually holding the holding the wobbler tight. So we have to take a little bit of either file or grind off a little bit of the top of that nail. Um, you want to keep the, the bottom half of the nail there, but take the top half off. Now I've filed off the top half of that nail head to gain some clearance in here. Let's see if I can get this back on. Yep, now it looks like it's wobbling just fine with the with the cover on. Stop it, see if it'll start up for us.